Hey everybody, it's Mike Drudge coming to you from Vaught RV here in Fort Worth, Texas. I have behind me a brand new model of J-Flight. It's the 280 RKS. That's rear kitchen slide out. So we've got a neat wide open floor plan in the back. We're at about 34 feet, 6,800 pounds. So it's not a huge trailer, but it really feels spacious inside and it's a really neat couples camper. Before I get started though, let me point out my personal three favorite features of this unit. Number one, notice there's no slide out on the fun side of the unit. Number two, we have a ginormous window right here looking out on our patio. And number three, a wide open floor plan back here with lots of comfortable seating and an L-shaped kitchen. All right, let's roll around the outside of this thing before we go on the inside. You're gonna notice a lot of things similar from years past, but I'll point out a few different ones, starting with this. We have 0.04 thickness metal on the front facade of all the J flights. I like this, it's a more aerodynamic look. Uh, smoother look, uh, arguably easier to clean, and I appreciate that they did the dark gray color. It's a little more forgiving for things like bug splatter, which there is some on here. This unit still hasn't been washed. Um, that one was probably about Texarkana, Little Rock, Indianapolis, all the way up to Northern Indiana, right? One thing you'll notice is different this year are these quick drop stabilizing jacks. You start cranking them down and then you can drop them down really quickly. They're also really, really stable So because of the way they're designed. So far I'm liking them. If you've used them and uh, give me your own input, I'd love to hear what you think. We have pass-through storage up here. Uh, through to the other side. This is a signature of Jayco. Nice, clean pass-through storage, and it reveals the plywood construction here. Again, not particle board like you'll see in some other manufacturers. Twin propane bottles up here. Electric lighted tongue jack makes leveling super easy. Your battery tray behind here. All the units here at Vought are prepped before you take delivery. So the propane is going to be filled, new batteries installed, and it'll of course be washed and detailed for you too. I like this diamond plating up here. If it's going to get rock chips thrown up, this is where it's going to happen right here. So that really protects the front portion of the coach. Let's take a peek in here too. We've got magnet catches and this is the opposite side of your pass-through storage. Now these units are parked really close together, so I'm not going to go all the way around, but I will point out this outdoor shower. It's hot and cold both, and so this is a great feature. You're out at the beach, sandy feet, stinky dog, stinky kids, whatever. You can rinse them off out here uh, before you go in the coach. This is your main city water connection, i.e. pressurized water. When you hook up to this pressurized connection, now you have pressurized water everywhere in the coach, including right here. If you're out where you have no pressurized water, no city water connection, you're going to rely on the water that's in your fresh water tank. And to get that, you're going to turn on your water pump from the inside of the coach, and that will give you pressurized water on the inside of the coach. I don't recommend uh, having more than a few gallons of water when you're going down the road. Otherwise, you're just uh, adding unnecessary weight to the trailer. Now, this is a black tank flush valve, so use a separate hose, hook it up to this, right about the time you're ready to break camp and head for home, and make sure your valves are open, your holding tank valves are open, and then just let that guy run. Let it run for six, eight, ten minutes, and it's going to spray the inside of your black tank and really do a nice job of keeping it clean. So with that, let's walk around to the other side and have a look on the other side. All right, let's check out what I call the fun side of the unit here. Lots of covered patio space, and again, we don't have a slide here, so this is all covered fun area. Now, nice huge window that looks right down on probably what's going to be your picnic table or your fire pit. That's really great. So if you're busy in there prepping food, you feel still feel like you're part of the action out here because this is the biggest window on a J flight that I've seen in a long, long time. Have our water heater assembly there, our uh, potable fresh water fill right here. This is a gravity fill. Again, don't put more than a few gallons at a time is my recommendation. You can put a TV out here if you want to. Got our cable and power here. So if you want to hang a TV out here under the awning, 
great tailgating idea you can do that nice alloy wheels under here and these are now standard in 2023 these Lippert solid steps this used to be an option to get nice solid steps like these and now they're standard fully appreciate that so hey let's go on the inside and check it out all right, this is growing on me. This might be becoming my favorite couples camper. I just love how open this is in the back here, even though we have one slide out. It's a pretty big slide out. It houses the sofa and your table and chairs here both. But man, when you push the slide out, there's a lot of room here. So if you're busy in the kitchen, prepping dinner or whatever, you're, you're still very much part of the action out here. You're not separated from it and there's multiple ways you can use this space. I have two recliners here, which can be oriented just like they are, and this makes a nice, uh, if there's two couples, we're talking back and forth, that's nice. But say in the evening, it's time to watch a movie or a football game, I can just move these chairs at whatever angle I want to, to make, or and even move this out in the middle like this, so it's perfect to watch TV. And like I said, they both recline. So there's a lot of ways you can arrange the furniture such as it were. And I already pointed out that huge window, which is just fantastic. I'm not gonna lift it up because it kind of messes with the camera lighting. But it, when you're at a campsite, lift that up and it really kind of brings the uh, outdoors inside. Now this is a trifold sofa. So if you do have guests, you can pop this out and sleep a couple of folks comfortably here. This is a table and chairs, so it's always a table and chairs. This doesn't convert into a bed or anything. Now, you see these little things. These Jayco uh, upholstery shop puts these on here, and they're on to protect it from rubbing going down the road. So I would save those if I were you. You can also clip these from the bottom to keep these from bouncing around during travel. Uh, they really can't go anywhere, but if you feel better latching those under there, you certainly can. Now, I like the kitchen. So, yeah, this is kind of a, what my wife calls a one-butt kitchen, right? So if there's one butt in here, there's only one butt kitchen in here, but everything's within reach. So I have my double basin sink, my three burner cooktop and oven here, my microwave range hood, and then I can turn around and reach the refrigerator right behind me. And, a, and quite an abundance of storage for a relatively small travel trailer. Now, as always, Jayco's cabinet build is on display here. Solid maple door fronts and drawer fronts. They're all glued and screwed together. All of the drawers are uh, full extension ball bearing drawer glides. So I really appreciate that. This is a one piece uh, countertop material. It looks like a solid surface. It looks sort of like a marble, but it's not. <laughs> Much lighter, but it allows Jayco to do an undermount sink residential style. It really makes it easier to keep the top clean. Um, down here are your fuses and your breakers, and they're all labeled nicely there. Now this has got a 12 volt refrigerator. I'm a huge fan of these. This is running off your 12 volt power supply all the time so when you turn your truck off it's the batteries that are going to keep this going when you're going down the road your converter sending 12 volts to this and keeping it running so this will run perpetually going down the road no matter how far you're going it's not running off propane when you plug up at the campground your shore power is going through your converter and sending 12 volt power to this as well um, it'll certainly run overnight on a fresh charge of your batteries, even if you have no other source of power. But it's a lot bigger than a standard RV gas electric fridge, and they cool down much quicker too. I have a little extra storage on this side as well. Yeah, and even more. Drawer down there. So lots of kitchen storage. Entertainment center right here. So this is a Bluetooth stereo. I can pair my phone to this on this BT setting, Bluetooth, and then I can push music from my phone through the speakers here or out on the patio as well. TV tilts a little bit. It's an Insignia brand and it is a smart TV. And thank you, Jayco, for putting a shelf in there. Yay. All right. So this is actually a usable space now. 
Uh, last year there was no shelf in these a lot of these J flights and there is now so good job so um, use that however you want I would say you'd put your DVDs in there but nobody ever really has those anymore so books what have you a little extra storage space doesn't hurt including up top there nice smoke glass inserts over on the wall are our slide controls and our awning controls simple toggle switches and there's a certain beauty in a toggle switch guys if a toggle switch were to ever fail this is a super easy fix unlike the electronics that you're seeing more and more in new units so toggle switches here and toggle switches on the lights here as well now we can uh, access our bathroom either from the hallway or from the bedroom in there so if you have guests, you can close that off and they can access the bathroom or close it off and access it just from the bedroom. A little basin sink here with a little storage underneath. I have a glass shower enclosure right here, which is real stylish, and a one-piece um, shower surround. 2023, Jayco put larger shower heads on all the showers really tall skylight so I'm six feet tall I could be six five six six and still take a shower in here have enough room um, we have a foot flush plastic toilet if you want to upgrade to a porcelain aftermarket you can certainly do that so going on into the bedroom here we have a queen size mattress there is storage underneath it here this shows off the plywood bed base. There's always plywood under the beds of a Jayco. Plywood under your feet, plywood up in the roof instead of particle board. Nice storage underneath there. Of course, in front of that is your pass-through storage that you access from outside. Here's a little quick tip. I don't always talk about these shades, but it's important to lift up equally on either side of it so they don't get out of alignment. So just lift up either side like so, and then when you're done, pull it back down. That way it won't get out of alignment can reach up and tap these reading lights uh, for nighttime reading. Now there's a little bit of storage here and a little bit of storage over there. Oops. Okay, so that's as far as that's opening. Um, would have liked to have seen that open a little bit more. Huge deal, probably not, but hey, it's my job to point out everything on these things. So I'm still giving Jayco high marks on quality all around, but that's kind of that's kind of weird. The other one opens up a little more, but point being hanging clothes there and there's some shelves over there along with some storage up on top there. Now all Jayco's are going to be prepped for solar. So if, if it didn't come from with from Jayco with solar, you can add the charge controller right here and put up to three solar panels up on top here. This is a 50 amp coach. So I have an AC in here, which you can probably hear running as well as the main AC, so you can really stay comfortable in this unit um, in any kind of, of climate. So I'm liking this. The more time I spend in this, the more I like it. We've got our pleated shades all the way around, sliding door here for privacy, and then our little thermostat on the wall here, and this works just like a thermostat at home. Now the AC controls on the unit back here are all right here. The AC controls for the rest of the coach are in the hallway here. And again, work this just like you would at home, adjusting your fan speed. When it's time to kick the furnace on, you're gonna do that here as well. And that heat's gonna come up through the ducts in your floor. AC on top, heat through the floor. Talk about vents in the floor, and a lot of people will ask me, why do they put the vents in the floor? They're a little bit hard to keep clean, especially in the summer when they're not running. There's a good reason for that. It's not coincidence. There's a single raceway that goes through the bottom of this, a single duct work, instead of duct work that's in the cabinets. Anytime you run duct work up into cabinets and walls, you're doing lots of right angle turns. Every right angle turn is resistance against the fan motor. This way, there's a single raceway. It's much more efficient, um, less resistance on your fan motor. Your fan motor lasts longer, your furnace lasts longer. So there's a lot of good reasons for that there. I can fully appreciate keeping them clean, especially if you have pets, you might wanna cover those up in the summertime. But hey, the longer I spend in this unit, the more I like it. It's a 280 RKS, rear kitchen, slide out. 
Nate Couples Camper. If you'd like to come out and look at it in person or maybe you have questions about it, maybe questions about if your vehicle can tow it, we're happy to look up that information for you and answer any other questions you may have. My name is Mike. I appreciate you taking a second. If you feel like it, go down below and click like and subscribe. That way you'll be the first to know when we post more videos like this. If you'd like to see us do a video of a particular unit, or hey, you just have a question about RVing in general, we'll do our best to get to it. As always, I appreciate you joining me, and I'll see you next time. Howdy everybody, thanks for joining me today. I hope you learned a thing or two from what I had to say. If you did and feel like it, then click subscribe below. And when I post a video, you'll be the first to know. See you next time.